Hello, and welcome to the third Getting Started with Our Network Management System, CNEC NMS. In the upcoming video, we're going to take a look at the Firmware Update Management function. More precisely, we're going to look at how we can initiate a firmware rollout over our entire network from CNEC NMS. Initiating a firmware update directly from CNEC NMS provides the following added value. We can centrally install our security patches on our devices, and that at a future time during a scheduled maintenance window. To carry out a firmware update, we'll proceed as follows. First of all, we'll create a firmware container. This is where we place our firmware file. We then select the affected devices in the network. In the next step, I'll show you how to store the firmware update in a policy so that everything will be executed rule-based. After that, we'll take a look at the behavior of our network during a firmware update. And, if the update is successful, see how the firmware on our devices has been updated. As the firmware update is a central management function, we'll store the firmware files on our control and also create the policy for our firmware update here. We in turn observe our network behavior in our operation itself. That is in our local work unit. Now let's start with our operation, as I already know which devices I'd like to supply with new firmware update. Now let's start with our operation, as I already know which devices I'd like to supply with a new firmware update. I also need to know the current version on the device itself. In this case, it's Scalance XC208 with firmware version 4.1.0, which we want to update now. Now let's go to our Scenic NMS control. At Network Administration, Firmware Management, we can create a new firmware container in which our firmware file is stored. Let's first add a description. The version as well as the release stamp are automatically added when uploading the firmware file. After a short time, the file is stored in the firmware container. At Compatibility, we can now check whether the network device we want to update is listed there. Now, we'll create a policy for the firmware update. As usual, you can create a policy at the Policy Control Center. We'll give this policy a name, a description, and a role. We want to carry out the firmware update at a later time. That's why it's also given a schedule. For a firmware update, we of course choose a one-time execution. I can now add a condition for the device whose firmware I want to update. With this condition, I can query either a single device or several devices of the same type. Next, we add two rules, one to load the firmware onto the device and one to activate it. As execution strategy for loading, we can keep the sequential mode. At task, we now use the firmware filter to select the appropriate device function for loading the firmware. In the optional settings, we can select the current firmware or set a specific firmware version. For the second rule, that is the activation of the firmware, we'll choose the run-based execution strategy. Run-based, in this case, means that Scenic NMS will restart the most distant device first. This protects us from not being able to access our network in the event of an error. As the task, we select the activation of the firmware. We'll be warned that this involves a device restart. In the next step, we select the policy, load it, and activate it.
in the vast majority of cases, it's worthwhile to simulate the policy beforehand. We'll then be able to see in advance which devices will be affected by the policy. In the simulation report, we can see the execution steps. First, we see which device is affected and the name of the associated firmware file. Next, the device restart is shown. We can now execute the policy. We'll be able to see the progress of the policy execution as a percentage. In the preliminary execution report, we can also see that the loading of the firmware onto the device was successful. Now, let's have a look into our CNEC NMS operation. How our devices behave during the firmware update. In the device view, we can now see that some participants can no longer be reached. If we now switch to the topology view, we can see that these are devices that are attached to our device that just restarted. It may take a few seconds for the device to be fully uploaded. Let's now take a look at what error messages are issued by the adjacent devices. Here we can see that a LAN interface is reported to no longer be active. In this case, the affected LAN interface is our port to which our restarted device is attached. After a few seconds, when our device can be reached again, we see that the states and our topological view are normalizing again. Viewing the execution report again shows that not only the loading of the firmware was successful, but also the device restart. Let's also look at the device details in the operation again. At description, we can see what firmware version the device now has. We see that the latest firmware has been uploaded. You have now learned how to roll out a firmware update under CNEC NMS. I hope you have a lot of fun trying it out for yourself. And also take a look at our other Getting Started videos about CNEC NMS. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.